What is going on, my people? This is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Journey to Master, and today we are going to talk about female electricians. All right, man. So this has been a long coming episode. I actually wanted to try to get a female electrician on here with me. Um, I've had a couple of offers, but people have not followed through with it. So I'm just going to do the episode based off of my perspective. And hopefully that helps some of y'all that have been asking me to do this video. Um, I have hordes of females that ask, this sounds cool, um, but what about for women? Or, you know, like, what's it like working around a whole bunch of guys every day and having to wear tools? Or, you know, there's a lot of women that are interested in becoming electricians, but understandably, it can be a little uh, scary, I guess you could say. So, from my perspective, uh, most of the women electricians that I've met are badasses. Um, if they stick with it long enough, they... Uh, they usually excel. They usually do phenomenal work. They work very, very hard um, because it's kind of a role that you have to do that to, just in this trade, you have to do that. But um, there's this kind of stigma of, oh, I'm a woman, so I have to outwork everybody. So let's talk about um, what you're probably gonna run across. Depending on where you work, you're gonna have some assholes. It's like that for guys as well, but for women, uh, there's men out there that are going to degrade you and they're going to make you feel like you shouldn't be an electrician. You shouldn't be doing this. Um, you're not strong enough or, you know, even if it's not other electricians in the companies that are treating you this way, there's going to be customers or there's going to be builders or people in other trades that you're going to come across on a daily basis that when you're trying to carry a ladder, they're going to walk over and be like, Oh, let me help you with that, sweetie. Like as if you can't carry a fucking ladder, you know? Um, or they see you wearing tool belts and they laugh and they're like, oh my God, that's so funny. You're an electrician, you're, but you're a girl. They don't mean any harm by it. It's just, it's a bizarre thing for them to see a woman wearing a tool belt. It's, it's a weird thing for us too. Like we don't see typically that many female electricians, not at least maybe not in Texas where I'm at. Um, but there's no harm meant by it. But having that said every single day for your career, for years, uh, it can start to wear on you a little bit. It's like, Jesus Christ, I just want to show up on a job, put my fucking tools on and go to work and not have people like instantaneously judging me because I'm a woman wearing tools. So that's one thing. I mean, if you can handle something like that, which I know a lot of women that just don't give a fuck. You know, if somebody says something like that, they say something right back and it's like, oh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. I won't, you know, you just have to know how to juggle that. And there's some women out there that... uh that thrive on it, that actually enjoy the, the kind of like banter and like proving themselves. So that brings me to my next point is most women electricians that you'll, you'll talk to will agree that they've had to outwork most of the people around them. And they do. Uh, it's not just that they think they're doing it. They genuinely do. When you're in an environment where the only way for you to gain respect is to do everyone around you's job better than they do it, and cleaner, and neater, um, and faster, it forces a certain amount of respect. You know, like if you can run circles around the people that you're working, they got nothing to say about the fact that you got boobs at a vagina. Like that's out of the fucking equation anymore. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of women that I've talked to and that I've worked with have had to work twice as hard as most of the guys and just to be able to get the same amount of respect. I know it's fucked. It's stupid. It's not right. But alas, we have a trade of 50 year old men that have been doing old school shit since old school was born. And it's just the way it is. Um, it took a long time for our military to decide to allow women into infantry. It's the same kind of thing. It's just the tides are turning in our society on how we view the equality of men and women. Um, there's a lot of things to say on both sides of the aisle. I get it. Um, but I know that this trade has changed my life forever. And being around the people that I've been around every day, the relationships that I've 
gained and the, the knowledge that I've gained, the confidence from having a skill that I do things, I construct and build things and tear things apart and I do these things with my hands. And at the end of the day, they work and I'm fucking proud of what I'm, I've done and I've actually worked. I haven't sat under a fluorescent light typing like things that don't matter into a computer. I'm actually doing something for somebody to be able to live in something and like see where they're going every day and like have food refrigerated. Like what I do matters and it is a of huge importance to the society that we live in. So for a woman to be able to have that same value out of doing this every day, I think is a killer thing. Um, I'd like to think of, uh, if, you've all, if, if, if any of you have seen the movie Another Earth with Britt Marling, Oh, such a good movie. Um, if you're a deep thinker and you're a, kind of an introspective person, Another Earth is a killer movie. Um, this young woman who's got like her whole life in front of her, uh, she's like going to go to MIT and work in the space program or whatever. Um, she's drinking, she's at a party and she leaves and she's like looking up through her sunroof and just barrels into somebody and kills like their family members. And so she does some prison time and when she comes out of it, she has this thing now where like she doesn't, she's a completely different person and all she wants to do is work with her hands. And I'm not going to tell you any more of the movie. This movie's fucking beautiful. It's like, like I have some top five movies. Uh, I Origins, um, The Fountain, Another Earth, I Heart Huckabees, uh, Into the Wild. There's some really, really good, like highly introspective movies that are uh, life changing if you have an open mind. If you're a closed minded person and you don't like new things, then you won't. You probably think the movies are stupid. But anyways, all of that to say, like for women to be able to do something with their hands that's building and constructing and that's gratifying and that they're sweating and working hard every day, there's just as much value as there is for men. Um, there's no reason why a woman should not try to be an apprentice or not try to get into the electrical trade other than you know the, the way that you're going to be treated because it's a bizarre thing that you're there. And it's unfortunate that it's a bizarre, but it's just something that you're either going to have to deal with or choose not to do this. Um, the last thing that I'll say is kind of like a irksome thing that you're going to have to deal with is being hit on all the time, especially if you're like really, really pretty. If you're ugly, then don't worry. No, I'm just fucking with you. No, if like, no matter how you look, uh, there is something attractive to men that work with tools every day about seeing a woman work with tools every day. And especially if if a, that woman is like outpacing you and knows more than you or anything, you know, like there's a lot of weird dynamics, but you're going to get hit on a lot. And it's, again, it's something that will probably happen daily, uh, weekly. And it may be by the people that you work with. It may be the other trades that you're working on a job around. It may be customers. Um, so it's just something like if you can't stomach that, if that's something that would bother you is just not even being like directly hit on, but just being treated like you're this soft flower and then like, hey, sweetheart, how are you doing? And like, if that's too much for you, then this is probably not a good trade for you. Now, I will say that you're probably going to run into that in any fucking job that you've got, every job that you've got, um, the whole male female dynamic. Uh, that's not just a, like something that happens in the trades, um, but you do start to spend a lot of time with a person of the opposite sex. When you're in this trade, you're in this trade all day, every day with the people that you're around. So they're kind of like your chosen family, really. Um, they're the people that you choose to spend all of your day, all day long with every single day. Um, so... I know from personal experience that having a female around is, uh, if, if you can't keep it to just work, there is an element of that that will happen. Um, when you're eating like breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a woman that you are getting to know and that you're working with every day, um, it can lead to things that are beyond work. So um, I will just say that and leave it at that. Um, but I will say too that uh, again, most of the women that I've worked around or been around, they they have to work very hard because they it's almost like you have to you have to make up for some lost respect because you're a female. Which again, last time I will say this is complete bullshit. 
but that's what it's like. So you're going to, if you can stomach being hit on, if you can stomach having to work harder to earn the same kind of respect, um, if you can lift heavy things and sweat all fucking day and just be gross and filled with like dirt, there's days where you're going to have to dig and all day long you're slamming a shovel into the ground or you have a pickaxe, you know, you're trying to dig a trench for your pipe to go in or you're swinging hammers, you're crushing your fingers. Like don't even fuck with fingernails. If you're going to do like painted fingernails and show up to this job, <laughs> don't even fuck with it. Don't wear earrings. Don't wear jewelry. Don't even wear makeup. You're going to sweat through everything every single day. Um, so if this is not an environment where you can dress up all pretty and try to like show off to all the guys, you will get your fucking lunch eaten. But if you can show up, as a human being ready to be around other human beings to collectively uh, put together a project and to do a work as a team, uh, you will be respected. Every female electrician that I know is highly respected by all of the men that are around because they have put the time in, they don't put up with bullshit. They do very good work. They work their asses off and they run circles around people. Um, so they've earned the respect through years of being around these men. So that's really it. If you're a female, um, don't be discouraged by being in a group of guys working, swinging hammers and using drills and cutting things. Um, it's rough. It's not a soft, clean environment. It's a very rigid, uh, sometimes painful blood, sweat, and tears putting work in, but being so fucking accomplished by the end of the day and having a skill that you're learning every day that is so massively important for our society that if in a fucking apocalypse happened, you would have something, so, you'd have a gift, you'd have something that you know how to do that other people don't. It's a very, very important trade to be in. Uh, plumbing is the same way. Plumbing is very important to be a part of. Like Our society runs on the fact that sewage and clean water delivery to buildings is, a, is a, something that we're able to do. Uh, HVAC, another very important one. Like you know, There were days where people didn't have electricity, didn't have plumbing, didn't have furnaces and AC. Um, but now that we're so accustomed to it, especially here in Texas where it's like 110 fucking degrees outside in the summer, uh, you can't live. You can't live without air conditioning or, you know, when it's negative 20 up in Wisconsin and you need a furnace for heat. Um, so they're massively important things. Like being in a trade is far more important, I think, than probably 80% of the jobs that people are doing out there. You know, I, I've worked in restaurant industries and I don't, I never was gratified. Like, yeah, it was quick cash. I worked for five hours and made 300 bucks on a Friday, but like, what was I doing? Really? I was, I was delivering people shitty food that they could have fucking cooked for half the price at home if they just got off their lazy asses and did it. Um, but I wasn't doing anything of like importance to society or importance for my family. I didn't have any value that it was, I was delivering. Um, you know, maybe if I like worked in the medical field and people were dying and it's like, fuck, get my hands in there and, you know, like help out, then I probably would have felt the same kind of accomplishment or the same kind of value that I feel right now. Um, and there's a lot of guys and girls that would disagree with everything that I'm saying right now. There are some people that would be like, women don't belong in this. And there's some people that would say that, well, being an electrician is not as glorifying as he's talking about right now. Like it fucking blows. I hate doing what I do every day. But you know, look at those people just don't like doing what they are doing. It doesn't mean that there aren't. Let's put it this way. I've gotten so many people into this trade through the YouTube channels or through hiring friends and bringing them into the trade and training them. And everyone that I have brought in has stuck with it. And everyone across YouTube and Facebook that has gotten into this has come back to me and said, dude, you were right. This shit's fucking cool. So glad that you that I watched that video of why you should be an electrician. So thank you. I'm not bullshitting. Like there's so much life value to get uh, into this trade. Um, so I guess I'll leave you with that. Uh, don't get discouraged, man. If you think that you, if you're female and you think that you can handle those things that I talked about. Um, and you're looking for something different in your life and you're looking for something that where you feel like you are gaining a skill or a craft that will be with you the rest of your life, 
try this shit out, man. It's life changing and you will not regret it. I love you people. I will uh, be a little slow on some of my content going forward in the next few weeks. I've been, I've been back to Rockport. So uh, this whole week I worked in town nine hours Monday. Tuesday, I drove four hours away from my house to the ocean and worked a 13-hour day. The next day, I worked another 13-hour day. The next day, I worked a 10-hour day. And then yesterday, I worked another 13-hour day. I drove four hours back home. So I've been going down there week after week, and it's just hard for me to get this content out. Um, I can't bring all of my like cameras and tripods and stuff. Like, I have to work. I have to get shit done. So um, my content's been a little bit slow, but it's not because I don't have anything to talk about it's just i don't have any fucking time i'm trying so again love you guys i'll see you in the next episode peace out